Hello there. Uh, welcome to uh, Accounting the 12. Uh, today we want to look at a question paper of November 2022, whereby we want to look specifically on the calculation of the loan balance. That is the uh, figure that we are going to put uh, in the uh, balance sheet or statement of financial position under uh, long-term liabilities. And also we want to calculate the figure for current portion of loan that we are going to uh, subtract from the balance of the uh, a loan in the uh, under non current liabilities and then transfer it under current liabilities. So, uh, we have got our figures that we are given here in terms of uh, the opening, uh, and close balances, uh, of loan. Uh, if you come here, we've got loan uh, for certain bank, we have got uh, for 2021, that is uh, the opening balance, we've got 1,288,750, and then for the closing balance, we've got 1,159,000 here. So these are the balance that we have. So if you go to the additional info information on that question paper, you would see that uh on the additional information, we are we are having some information that we are given concerning loan. Uh that is here on uh, item eight. Uh and uh, we have got uh specifically for loan uh is coming here. We have got all transactions with respect to the loan we are reported, which means that the opening balance and closing balance that we have shown in the uh in the list of balances there. Uh, or the trial balance uh, represents uh, figures that are there after adjustment, after uh, after adjusting for interest capitalized, and then after adjusting for uh, the uh, the figures for uh, monthly installments uh, included interest. Uh, those figures were adjusted, so uh, we are not, not going to adjust those figures, but we're only going to work within uh, those figures. So uh, on the next point, saying interest of one hundred forty-two thousand two hundred fifty on the loan is capitalized, which means this is our interest on loan that uh, was charged. Uh, in the uh, income statement or statement of comprehensive income. Uh, so we have got our interest capitalized at 104,250. And then we are told on the next, next point, a fixed monthly store when the full interest was paid in full. Uh, that is exactly what we're explaining. Then we go to the last point, the capital portion of the repayments will increase by 10% over the next financial year. So uh, the capital portion uh, that is that will increase uh, over the next financial year is going to be our current uh, portion of loan. So, uh, we are going to calculate, we are going to start by calculating uh, the current portion of loan. Then after calculating the current portion of loan, we can then be able uh, to calculate uh, the uh, loan balance that we are going to put in the statement of financial uh, position. Remember that current portion of loan, we are going to subtract it uh, uh, from uh, the final loan balance that we are given then. So uh, on the current portion of loan, remember, to calculate the current portion of loan, we say, uh, Let's just uh, go there and try to see the formula that which we use for current portion of loan. Uh, current portion of loan, uh, we say uh, the figure for monthly installments, uh, monthly uh, installments including interest, uh, including including uh, interest uh, that we have, and then we subtract uh, the interest capitalized so this is what we have so if you go there you would see that uh uh the monthly uh if you go there let's try to see what we have there see that uh we are we are given uh the interest capitalized is given but we don't have uh the monthly installment so uh, to find uh, the figure for monthly installments uh, we are just going to uh, use this formula uh we are just going to use this formula to find it let's just say uh, our we say our opening balance remember our closing balance uh we say opening balance then we get interest capitalized uh then we subtract the monthly installments uh including uh including interest so uh this is what we have so we have put our close well, our 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 closing balance our opening balance we are given and then interest capitalized is given then given again so we can easily now find the figure for uh at the, the monthly installment. So uh, let's go there on, on the question and see what figure do we have in terms of closing and opening balance. So if you come here, you would see that uh, the figure, the figure that we have there, uh, the figure that we have there in terms of loan, we are having 1,280,000, uh, 1,280,700. Uh, is our open and we've got 1 million as our closing. So we're just going to substitute there. And then we have got our closing, our, our sorry, our interest capitalized that we are given there again. Uh, we can just check the figure for uh, interest capitalized that we are given in the question. You'll see that interest capitalized now is the year, which is 1, 104,250. That is here. So we can just substitute those figures in that formula and try to find the figure for 
uh, now our monthly uh, installment. So what we are going to say now here, uh, we are going to say our closing balance, remember, uh, is we are given our closing balance, we are given it as 1,159,000. Then our opening balance, uh, we are given it as uh, 1,208,000. Uh, 750 and then uh our interest capitalized we are giving it there is 142 142,250 and then obviously we are subjecting our, our monthly installment which is the figure that we are looking for so we can just make a monthly installment so we can just make this figure the subject of the formula where by now it becomes our monthly installment uh will be equal to Remember, this is uh this is this will become a negative. Uh, this is a negative figure that we have here. So it means that we are we are we are we are leaving this on one side and then taking the other figures on the other side and then they change signs. So it means now uh, uh, we are now saying uh one million one hundred and fifty nine thousand. Uh, we uh we take this figure to the other side. It becomes negative. We subtract by subtract one million two hundred eight thousand uh, seven hundred and fifty. Uh, and then we can just maybe try to bring our page up there. Uh, in this case, and then we now uh, take again the figure for uh, interest capital less the other side, it becomes again uh, minus uh, this sign becomes a negative, becomes minus 142,250. So uh, if you multiply that, you'd see that should get a negative monthly installment equal to a negative again, this side uh, there. Uh, we are going to get 264, uh, 264,000. So uh, we are going to get a negative 264,000. And obviously now we divide by a negative one uh, both sides, whereby uh, our answer becomes, our monthly installment now uh, becomes uh, equal to positive, uh, a positive, a negative, a negative will make a positive, a negative, a negative, negative will make a positive. So we have 264, thousand that we have there so uh, this is our monthly installment including interest so um to find now uh to find now the current portion of loan now uh, so we can also have a formula that we use to find uh, the uh current portion of loan remember current portion of loan we say current uh, portion of loan now we are saying the monthly installments minus interest capitalized so the monthly installment that we have there is 264 and our interest capitalized is 142,250. So uh, what it means now, um, what it means now we are saying uh, for our, if we subtract there correctly, uh, we are going to get 121,750. 1, this is now our, our current portion of loan. This is now our current portion of loan. But if you go back to the question, you'd see that uh, we are told that this uh, is going to increase by 1.1%. Uh, so if you come here, uh, you'd see that we've got that explanation that we have there here, which is saying uh, uh, the capital portion of repayments will increase by 10% over the next financial year. So it means uh, that figure that we have there is going to increase by, uh, by 10%. So we are going to come here. Uh, we are going to come here and say, uh, 121,750. This one, uh, 10, uh, times 1.1, 100%, plus 10%, you get out of 10%, it's as much as 1.1. So it becomes 121,750, and then we multiply by 1.1. So which means our capital portion would be uh, 121,750 times 1.1, and there we are going to get 133,925. Uh, so this figure is the figure that is for current portion of loan that is going to go uh, to the uh, current uh, liabilities. So under current liabilities uh, for current portion of loan, we are going to put 130,925. Then now uh, for our loan balance, we are now saying a uh, loan balance that we are given there in the list of balances, we subtract this current portion of loan to loan to get the final balance that is going to represent a uh, 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 loan in the statement of financial position. So we are now saying loan balance uh, loan balance, uh, we are saying now for the calculation of loan balance, we are saying the final balance for loan balance, uh, for our loan balance, if we go back there, we would see that, uh, let's try to check what we have. Our loan, our final our final loan balance is 1,159 CT. So we're going to subtract that figure. 
that we have there. So if you come here, you see that we are going to say uh, uh, it is equal to uh, 1 million 159,000, then you subtract uh, the 133,925 there. Then uh, if you calculate very correctly there, uh, if you calculate uh, very correctly there, you're going to get 1,125,075. Uh, so this figure is the one which is going to represent now uh, the non-current liabilities uh, then as our loan. So this is what we have guys in terms of the calculation of the current portion of loan and the uh, loan balance for the paper of November 2022. Uh, let's stay tuned for more videos. Let's subscribe and share. We will meet again uh, in the next uh, video.